it's called the Dingo, um, and it's from Aero Sewing, and um, it's I want to say around forty. This way, the 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 website is going to have um, the actual measurements, but I want to say it's about forty by f maybe maybe forty five somewhere around there. It's almost the size of the table I had in here um, previously. I mean, it's the exact same height, so. Again, I don't know the exact measurement, but, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit higher than like, you know, uh, a, a dining room table so that, um, when you're cutting fabric, uh, you're not having to bend over as much. Um, we, we cut the shops fabric from an old dining room table and it really hurts way it's back, but I use this cutting table and I'm not in as much pain as he is after a, an entire day of cutting. Um, so the height is really, really great, um, uh, a great asset for the table. Okay, so I'm just going to walk around with the phone and show it to you. So the cool thing and why they call these things cabinets is because they all fold up into nothing. It could be just kind of like a countertop surface if you folded it all. So this, right, so you can see this. So this whole thing folds up on top of this, and then these... Uh, bars right here, they go uh, flush with the table. So it could technically go against a wall uh, all folded up and it has wheels. So uh, you can move it around if you didn't have a dedicated space, which is really, really cool. Now I don't ever move it because um, all I do in here is cut and press fabric. So this, that's, uh, that's how it breaks down. And I'm not going to break it down for you because um, I don't want to. <laughs> Um, okay, so on this side, it has the doors, and inside the doors are cabinets. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. On this side, it just has those little, uh, the bars that hold up this other side. The whole thing is really, really sturdy. I mean, I, this thing doesn't move on me. We've got the wheels locked, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't move. And, um, it's a smidgen narrower than my other table. On my other table, these two fit perfectly. They don't fit perfectly these two wool mats I mean they don't fit perfectly on here but it fits pretty good enough um so I really like that and I did have it turned the opposite direction but I thought it looked better with the iron and this kind of junk stuff hidden um as quilters you know we always have a lot of junk and my iron has that base and I think technically it's supposed to sit on the table, but I find it really bulky and in the way. I love the iron. And I don't want to change irons, but um, I've been putting it on a milk crate for many, many months now. And I like uh, putting it there on the ground and then just kind of grabbing it when I need it. And it, this table kind of hides it where my other table, it was just wide out in the open. So I really like that this um, table has all these kind of little hidey holes. And you can see on this one is where I keep all my large rulers. So they're no longer hanging on the wall, you know, looking. Things on the wall always make me feel overwhelmed. So taking them off the wall has helped. Um, I did have the, uh, the big guy right here. Um, he was in... Um, the other sewing cabinet, but he didn't fit really well there. So I just kind of put him back here where you can't see him because when you're on the opposite side of the table, you can't see any of this. You can't see my little trash can. So it's kind of like a little hidden space that only I know is there. So that's what it looks like on this side. And um, just just so that you know, uh, I've got wool, wool, wool pressing mats, which I've had, I've been using for years and years and years. And I put my, on my old table, which was just a basic wooden table, um, I, the wool mats would move and get out of place. So I put these drawer, um, rubber things that you put, you know, on the inside of the drawers and that has so stopped that problem. And also these kind of damaged, not really damaged, damaged, but kind of discolored my wooden table that I had before. So I had heard the trick of taking a uh, vinyl uh, tablecloth and putting it under the wool mats. So it's, it's flannel on one side and vinyl on the other. I cut it. I, I cut the tablecloth to fit the mats, by the way, but it goes the, down the whole length of this. And that way my um, cabinet doesn't get any kind of damage on it. I've actually got these in a little bit of a wrong place because they were all nice and neat and flushed. Um, I've been showing the table off today, so things have moved around a little bit where they shouldn't have. All right. Try to get everything back the way it was. And I also, um, 
I went ahead and put my mat a little bit on the uh, drawer, the drawer, uh, what do you call it? Drawer liners. It, this is a drawer liner and I put my mat on it a little bit and it helps stop my mat from moving as well. So that, that's kind of a plus that, and this is only something I've recently done since I've got this table. I was trying to be more protective of it than my, um, old table. So that is the top and, um, the wool mat and the, where I iron and press, but I think I feel like the um, the the diamond of this thing is definitely uh, what's inside here. So I'm just going to open this up, and um, I'm going to show you this. So um, there's three different size drawers. There's that very big drawer. There's the second biggest drawer, and then all the rest of the drawers are the same. Um, there's a total of nine drawers. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I organized all of this and how and some of the things that I did. All right, so this is the drawer that I use the most, and I keep my um, rotary cutters in here, some extra blades, and then I keep all my really, really tiny uh, rulers that just kind of um, took up space. I did have everything hanging on the wall again, so and it was on a pegboard, which is in the other room. So um, it's been uh, it's been nice to have everything right here where I need it. This is where I cut all my fabric at, so it's nice just to come in here, grab the cutter, and then you know get to work. So that's the first drawer, and again, I put um, the drawer liner in here. I bought um, these on Amazon. I really like the velvet ones because they don't clatter, and they, not, no, nothing moves when I open the door because of the liner, so that was nice. So that is the top drawer, and then this drawer. This drawer just kind of ha has a lot of just kind of here and there. So here's my letters for when I um, need to mark fabric. And then I keep my collection of uh, co cotton balls in here for um, for binding and hand sewing, whatever. Um, so that's what this drawer. This is um, the, sp the spice racks that go in the drawer. I, I will link to everything that I bought for these drawers. But these are basically just spice racks. Um, where, you know, you put your spices and then they sit just like, like this. So I just bought those for this drawer and I really, really like how it's worked out. So I can see all my colors, which makes me really happy to see. Um, the next drawer is got, I keep my own personal fabrics in here. So wholehearted, this is some cinnamon tea, some gentleness. So I keep these separate from my uh, stash of fabrics. So if I ever making something in my own fabrics, I just kind of grab them from here. This is new, I really like it like that. So, and then this is more of my fabrics. The bottom drawer, which is, I put things that I hardly use in here, and this is just a bunch of trim that I keep buying from thrift stores. I don't know why, but if I ever need it, it's down here. Um, so that's that drawer. And then this is where I moved um, my thread. My, now my thread was on the walls on those little spindle things, and I found it, I know it's really handy to put them up there, but I found it to be overwhelming for me to look at all the time. It was just really, really junky. So I put, again, those spice racks in here, and then I put all the warm colors together for my threads, and I've just kind of got it all mixed in here. Um, I had, obviously, more th thread than I had space for, but I kind of like the way it looks. So, and those, again, those spice racks just really are coming in handy for stuff like this. Um, the next drawer is more thread but it's cool colors. So got warm and cool. Uh, all right. The next drawer is just a junk drawer. I haven't, I still haven't decided exactly. I still had even more thread and I need to put a liner in here. But, um, so that is just a junk drawer. I haven't figured that one out yet. And then the last drawer is one of my most favorites because this was kind of just sitting along the wall in the way. And this is scraps. So when I'm done cutting, I can just kind of chuck it in there and then it falls right where it needs to be and then I just now I don't have to see it <laughs> out of sight out of mind all right so that is my drawers um and then one of the cool things is is that I when I'm standing here cutting I can just reach over here grab whatever ruler I need I'm really really happy with this dingo and I'm really appreciative 
to arrow so arrow sewing for sending it to me um if you are interested in the sewing cabinet in there um i have a, a video tutorial where i kind of walk through that thing as well um that was obviously a really really fun buy it completely changed my space so um I really, really am happy with that too. But there's a separate video if you want to learn more about that. And that one is the Aussie 2. And a, another cool thing is the Aussie 2 and the Dingo, I was able to get them in the same colors. So they match each other, which has been really, really nice.